Good morning! Today's video, I have a review of this bad boy right here by Dr. Dennis Gross. What an awful name to have. It's just gross. I once had a doctor named Dr. Urine. That was real. Today's video is a review and a wear test. Dr. Dennis Gross, all physical, lightweight, wrinkle defense, broad spectrum, sunscreen, SPF 30, one fluid ounce. It comes out white like this. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it before we start the wear test. It's not very drippy. It's a medium, I would say, a medium consistency, but lightweight once you rub it in. It does start off having a white cast, in my opinion, but when it dries down, that white cast is minimal, if not completely gone on my skin tone. On darker skin tones, I'm not sure if this would completely turn invisible. This sunscreen says it is for all skin types, but I have some thoughts on that that I'll talk about after the wear test. It has 16% of the non-nano zinc oxide, which is fantastic. They highlight sea buckthorn as one of the important ingredients that protects against UV rays and is anti-aging. They also highlight lingonberry, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Lingonberry. Which is a source of vitamin C and vitamin E and says that that helps heal UV damage. Now, I'm, I'm not an ingredients person. If you don't know, I'm not a medical professional. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm just a regular melanoma cancer survivor who reviews sunscreens and talks about skin cancer. I'm still learning. I'm still Guess learning. what day it is? New. Oh. <laughs> New sunscreen day. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross All Physical Lightweight Wrinkle Defense SPF 30 Broad Spectrum. Okay, let's see. First time using, oh, that's a weird, look at that. What is that? That's a, that's a weird uh, squeezy tube. All right, let's see what color this comes out at. Oh, okay. Ooh, I should have showed you, sorry. Like a medium consistency? We're gonna start off with that amount. And I'm sure I will need more. Looks like it has a white cast to it because you can see like the milkiness between here versus here. Man, it feels nice. It feels moisturizing to me. I wonder what it has in it that's wrinkle defense or if it's just like sunscreen protecting your face from UV rays is naturally a wrinkle defense. Yeah, it's um a medium consistency and you really got to rub it in. It does not have a scent. I would say that was probably a total of three finger, three fingers worth. Cause I'm just getting about that much out each time, which is like half a finger once it starts dripping. Let's go over here to the big lights and see what I think. You can definitely feel it on my face. It's glowy, but it's not too glowy. It doesn't feel, it's not greasy. Um, I have hope for this one, surprisingly. When I put it on, I wasn't too excited about it. But looking in the mirror, it looks like it's going to dry down nice. Okay, I'll be back in 10 to 15 minutes and we'll see how it dries down before I put my makeup on. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and this dried down very, very nice and fast. It dried down fast. I can't even tell it's on my face. It is slightly luminous as you can see, but it's not greasy. It feels like my skin. It feels, feels very nice. I'm very... I'm surprised. I'm surprised by this one. <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised. I really had no expectations, but... All right, let's see how makeup wears on it. This is sitting beautifully under my foundation. I use... Let me find it. <laughs> I use the Tarte Shape Tape Cloud Coverage today, and it is just sitting fantastically. Fantastic underneath. What do you think? Today's church day, but I will check back with you in two hours before I head to church, before I reapply some sunscreen or some, some sunscreen powder on top of my face. And we'll check back and see if it ruins my makeup before I go to church or not. But I have high hopes, so. Okay, two hour check-in, and I think it looks great. It got slightly, the shine slightly came through my matte foundation. 
but not bad, I don't think. It feels nice. Be interested. I'm going to keep testing this out, try it with other foundations. What do you think? I think I've blown my nose and worn, worn my foundation off here. Let me know. All right. This does not have a scent to me. And I don't see in the inactive ingredients list, I'll pop it up here. I don't see anything that stands out to me that's a fragrance. I could be wrong though, because it doesn't say that it's fragrance free. So check this ingredient list here to see if there are any fragrances that stand out to you. This guy right here is $42, which is a high price tag in my opinion. Opinion, but I did get this in the Sephora sun safety kit for this year. I did not pay $42 for the sunscreen, thankfully. I love the way this feels when I put it on my face. Let me tell you a secret. <laughs> a secret for putting on sunscreen that makes almost all sunscreens enjoyable to put on your face. Exfoliate your hands. I was using the Dove exfoli exfoliating scrub in the shower this morning for my body and you put it on with your hands and my hands are so smooth. So when I applied this this morning, oh my goodness, it normally feels good going on my skin, but with exfoliated hands, it's a game changer. Do I think this sunscreen is for all skin types? It settles down a little bit, but it still feels kind of tacky. It's also super shiny. Now I've had it on for an hour this morning and you can see it is very humid outside though. So I wanna try this again when cooler weather happens. I think I might enjoy it more because right now you can see the shine popping through. It looks like I have highlighter on my face and I do not. For me in hot, humid coastal South Carolina, I do not like a shiny sunscreen, but it does feel great. And I think it's a great little sunscreen. It is not waterproof, so not sweat and humidity resistant like I'm wearing it right now. But I do think you would enjoy this if you have combination that leans more on the drier side or if you have dry skin. I think you would really enjoy this because it just felt so nourishing and moisturizing on the face. And it is lightweight, like it says. Once you put it on your face and let it do that dry down time, you, you can't tell it's on your face. The only way you can tell is when you look and see the shine popping through. I did wear this on its own for a little bit and you can see after two hours, it just stays shiny. Okay, if you were wondering what two hours with no makeup on looked like, see how shiny it is? I'm standing right in front of a window. It's very shiny and it still feels tacky and I haven't been outside today yet. And it feels tacky, especially ooh, right here where the shiny parts feel tacky, so. Just wanted to show you. It is very luminous. So this is not for me, but this could be for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.